Live from Lala Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, it's Hockey East action as the Merrimack Warriors get set to kick off an important weekend against the Providence Friars. We're set for hockey here at Lala Rink. Parker Ford will line up in the center circle with Ryan Leibold, and we are underway in North Andover. 0 oh and 1. Right. Still undefeated on the season. Here's a score by the Friars, Tage Harding, who made his debut here at Merrimack last year. It was a one timer, and Harding beats Borg Eel for the game's first goal at 326, 1 0 Providence. Wait. Making his uh, first appearance of the year for the Warriors. Here's Seifert. He'll fire one score! Jordan Seifert fired the shot. Svedback was screened. And at 8 07, we've got a tie game, 1 to 1. Well, Jordan Seifert had the game-winning goal. Merrimack's 3-2 win at Providence here. First of all, he was the guy who intercepted the clearing pass by Barrard and was able to keep the puck in the zone. Started that whole play off there. He gets that puck very high in the slot. And let's Warriors are trailing 1-0 last we heard. There's a quick shot right on Borgiel to save, and the rebound is banged home. And it looked like Bennett Schimmick was there to knock it home. Borgiel made the initial save, but at 11.52, Providence... For the second time in the period, they take the two to one lead. Boy, Bennett Shimmick has already, as a freshman, shown an ability to get to pucks around the net, get to loose pucks, find himself in the right area at the right time. But it's good work also by his line mates, and they set him up for that play. But he'll pick up his seventh goal of the year. How many against Merrimack? This he's got three or four. Nice move by Ryan Leibold centering that line and working with Leppin and, and Jeffries. Score for Providence right off the faceoff as the Friars move into position. Craig Needham was there, and it was Cody Mons who knocks it home. It's three to one. Another goal off of a faceoff for the Friars. Needham wins it, and you're going to see that it gets out to Mons. He finds some space, sends it in with some traffic, and Cody Mons with his second of the year. As Borgil gave up three against Maine on November 12th. And then he gave up three in the UConn game December 2nd. And the game down in Hartford that Merrimack won. And then, of course, the Yale game. So, fourth time this year he's given up three. Here's a score in front. Moynihan. We talked about him in the open. He was set up at the side of the crease, Mike. All he had to do was lift that puck. And Patrick Moynihan, we talked about how deadly he is on the power play. And it makes it four to one. Good puck movement here. You see that uh, Barad's going to get it back here. He's going to look right through the uh, crease and over to Moynihan. Nobody within and any distance of him. And Patrick Moynihan scores the fourth goal of the night for the Friars. It's a power play goal, his seventh of the year at 521. They work the puck down low. Arvidsson looking for Jeffries. Over skates it. There come the Friars. Down ice. Here's a lead pass, a breakaway attempt, and a score! Breaking in alone for Providence, Brady Berard. And it's now a 5-1 game. That goal comes at 7-11 of the second. Brady Berard with the goal. Actually, no, let's see, I believe it was Parker Ford. Was it not? Yeah, Brian Berard with the feed up to him. Yes. And then off. Ford goes in and puts the move on Borgiel. And they'll try and get the puck down low and a center pass by Valente score far circle. And it's now six to one. Tage Harding will pick up his second goal of the game as he fired that from the far circle. And the bleeding continues here at Lotto Rink. Five straight goals for Providence at six to one. Calvary works the puck along the boards. Merrimack player taken down. Puck is loose in front. Brown scores! Mike Brown fired the shot. He had plenty of time and space. And the bleeding is stopped. 13-36 the time. And Merrimack has cut it to 6-2. To Swings it cross ice. Puck hits a stick. Now Seifert. Back the other way from Merrimack. Seifert over to Calvary. Burst of speed to the goal. Score! Will Calvary. And that's a big boost for Merrimack. They've cut it back to 3. It's 6-3. Well, Liam Dennison started this all off. They get the puck up ice, and Calvary goes in, and you see that he makes a nice move between the pads. 
Crozier sends the puck down low. Poisson cross ice and they've got a man free and they finish the playoff. Scoring for the Friars there was Brett Bernard. And Providence connects on the power play and they make it 7 3. Job by Olas to take away the angle. As the Friars will work it back up on top. Quick shot by Ruika scores from inside the blue line. Ula Ruika fired it. I'm not sure if that was deflected on the way through, but at any rate, another power play goal. This one comes at 12 25. Quick shot by Young off the face off and four tenths of a second to go. So one more puck drop and that'll close this one. And the Providence Friars coming to North Andover and they have a statement victory over Merrimack. The Friars led two to one after one. They led six to three after two. A couple of goals here in the third period and the Friars win it by a score of eight to three.